And we finally moved to the United States in this conversation between Rachel and Amber, who are co-hosts of the Hallmarkies podcast. This recording is a great reminder that A, friends often enjoy the same things, whether they be Hallmark movies, Survivor, and so on. And so I say, your weird is my weird friend. And B, some friends have amazing working relationships. So have a listen to their friendship and then check out their podcast, The Hallmarkies Podcast. So we are so excited to get to be on uh, Elisa's channel and to get to talk about being friends <laughs> uh, on the Best Forevers podcast. We really like her podcast and uh, it's such a fun opportunity. I'm Rachel and Amber is here. Hi, everybody. We have the Hallmarkies podcast and uh, we... Uh, started the podcast about a year ago and it's just kind of become this thing it's it's really interesting how how things can just you just kind of stumble upon things in life sometimes <laughs> uh but um but yeah so we had some questions here from lisa and first thing she said is how did you come to meet so it's our friendship origin story. It's very, it's like Batman. It's very exciting. So we met uh, through, uh, we were both fans of not just Survivor, but uh, a, uh, a podcast called Rob Has a Podcast, uh, which is a really great podcast if you like reality television uh, and um, television, reality television games kind of shows. Yeah. And also, and even like unscripted. I mean, scripted television, they do. Yeah, that's They have true. a really great podcast about Game of Thrones. Mm, yeah, so we were, uh, we were both fans, and uh, I, I think the first time I remember meeting you was uh, we, we had, there was a, um, uh, we tried to get a bunch of the fellow patrons uh, from Utah together, and we went to uh, lunch at, okay, uh, fine. Your recollection is correct. Okay. <laughs> at, at Arugula and Water Club. <laughs> yeah, it was funny because one of the guys uh, that I, I there were there are like vegan options at this particular restaurant, but he ordered the salad, but like <laughs> uh, the salad was a very simple salad, and but but with vegan, it was literally just like arugula. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, not even that, like, he was like, um, can we actually take out the spinach and, like, just crazy, like, remove everything, and the guy, when he ordered it, was like, are you sure you don't want something else? And he's like, no, yeah, this is great. It was legitimately just arugula. Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah. And he was like, and I'll just drink some water. So all he had was arugula and water, and we were over here with our, like, actual food, and we were like, okay, guy. (laughs) <laughs> then we followed each other on Facebook and I I had put out a request amongst my friends, which I do often for my channel uh, to see if anybody, if there's something that I, I think sounds interesting that I want to talk about, I'll put out a request to my friends, see if any of them wants to talk about it on my other podcast and slash YouTube channel. And I knew that this Anne with an E uh, is uh, – um, what's coming out and I love Anna Green Gables and uh, the original miniseries uh, the Kevin Sullivan from the 80s miniseries is one of my favorite things ever like of all time and uh, so I was really excited for this and so I put it out there and Amber responded and uh, I I was like yay this will be really fun and so we uh, we did two podcasts leading up to it on the, the Kevin Sullivan uh, f- uh, series. And that was really fun. And then we watched Anne with an E and <laughs> it was an early test to our friendship, but uh, yeah, I was like this, this girl wants me to watch in with an E. I can't speak to this girl because we did not like Anne with an E. No, we felt it was a travesty. Right for more information listen to our episode of that podcast um but you know as they say you know, prisoners of you know war and and people who 
you know, have traumatic shared experience often are bonded. <laughs> yeah. We uh, never looked back after that. <laughs> yeah. We, we had the terrible experience of watching in with an E and hating it so much. And, and then that, we, which is not to say if you like Dan with an E that you are like the worst. It was just not for, not us. for us. We, uh, Ra- Rachel was like, okay, so we need a palate cleanser. Like, uh, do you want to watch, what's something you want to watch? And I'm like, let's talk about freaking Hallmark movies. I think we actually just said like, Love Comes Softly was our first actual yeah attempt, well and right? also i we were gonna talk about the dirty dancing i think that's how we got started talking about tv movies is we the the dirty dancing re, uh, remake was coming we were gonna we actually didn't end up talking about it which we totally should have which would have been really funny but um but i think that's how we started to get top uh, talking about it but yeah love comes softly uh was probably brought up because it was like a period piece but mm-hmm. one i liked or something like that somehow we got started talking about hallmark and we did uh the um podcast on our top 12 favorite hallmark christmas movies for christmas in july and uh, and then the next month we started talking about summer nights and it just kind of yeah and rachel this was all most of it was on rachel's channel and yeah. then by the time we got into our like our eighth episode, I don't even know, so many. I was like, Rachel, let's just have our own channel, okay? Yeah. And she was like, I mean, I guess. But could you even imagine if you had all of this po- the stuff oh. we are producing also on your channel? Yeah, I can't even imagine. Like, because th- th- you're the first co-host, because I've done, I've had many co-hosts on my show. Uh, and you were the first one who had been like, invested in it as like a true co-host uh and what everyone else does is amazing and super nice of them but uh but you were the first one to really you know have opinions and 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 (laughs) i I mean i can't help myself i have so many opinions (laughs) and you know to have ideas about starting the instagram and that was totally your idea uh things um things like that and i i really appreciate it because uh, you know, just, I need the, I, it's been so much more, it's been so rewarding and so fun, uh, to, to have somebody to collaborate with, to get ideas for, like, because I, I, I'm not like, I don't think I'm the most creative person when it comes to things. And so I, uh, I'll, you know, I'll I'll come up with a design and I can send it to Amber and, She'll, she'll oh, I don't know, and, yeah. and then I'll make it better. <laughs> Rachel, and then I, like, Rachel does all the work, and all I do is go, mm, maybe like a different shade of blue. Yeah. Like, I'm <laughs> such a brat. No, it's good. It's really good because. <laughs> um, could you actually just make sure that the posters are like the same height and lined up evenly? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I actually think that the posters are just like a half a millimeter closer together on the left side. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm so irritated. I just, no, it's good. I couldn't, I couldn't even be friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so good. I really appreciate it. And I don't know, just to have a collaborator who is, uh, is in, I don't know, is, is there to support and help. And, and, uh, I, I, for a long time, <laughs> do I help? I don't yeah, know no, you I do help. very, like for a long time, I was <laughs> like continually scared that you'd be like, eh, I'm kind of over this. Sorry. Bye. And, uh, but now I feel maybe now I should, maybe I should still be worried, but I don't think so. So now I feel like, I'm like, okay, we're good. But okay, like, well, to be fair, <laughs> when we got through Christmas, <laughs> not, I wasn't like necessarily like, oh, I don't want to be a part of the podcast. It was like, is there a point in life? Like Christmas killed me. There was like a thousand movies yeah. and I was trying to make sure that I watched every single Christmas movie I hadn't seen before. Yeah. So like, not only was I watching all the new content, but I was watching all of the old content while also trying to like watch all my favorite old content. Right. So my life for basically from the end of October to the beginning of January last year, I mean, I'm not going to, it kind of stopped at like December 20th because I burnt out was just anytime I wasn't doing (laughs) anything else. I was watching a Hallmark Christmas movie and like thinking about it and talking about it. And then by the time we got to actual Christmas, I was like, what is my life? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I was joking uh, with Alonzo that, uh, 
that uh, they need to make they're going to need to make a movie about the person who uh is uh loses the spirit of christmas because there's so too many hallmark movies but yeah but i was it wasn't like i necessarily lost the spirit of christmas it was like i am dead inside like (laughs) i could like there was not like everything was just like this isn't this is it this is the end and so right like so when we did the podcast i'd be like i mean i hated every one of them they were the worst and then it got better after that really it did and i'm very worried about what happens this christmas but i feel like i don't need to rewatch all the old ones that i didn't like because i have watched them now check yeah i i think this year we'll be more prepared and kind of in no <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like when you do a marathon you can't yeah. just like just come off your couch and run 26 miles like now i'm like okay i know i need to hydrate i need to train in advance i i'm like plus, i got the right shoes i'm so ready <laughs> plus one of the really cool things is now we have this sort of uh group of support really that like if you or me uh are not feeling it for some of these like i can easily now uh whether it's christmas or any other time of the year easily call ruth or i can easily call amy or lisa or you know any of these georgia amazing people that we have worked with and who have been incredible uh so that's kind of reassuring too (laughs) Yeah, Rachel's just like, well, I'm so glad I can finally ditch this mamby pamby needy girl and have someone who won't care if like she doesn't like the color blue on the background. No, no, no. It's just nice to have the 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 pool. Like, just it's just nice this Christmas. I think that you know we can maybe lighten. I feel pretty confident you're gonna fire me. Like, no. no. Uh, last question she has what have you learned about friendship so you know i I think the thing and this can sound super cheesy but hey we're the hallmarkies podcast uh i i've learned to laugh and be silly i think from amber most of all and uh, she just always makes me laugh and uh and uh, you know that I can take things a little bit too seriously sometimes, and so I think that that's uh, that's been probably the best lesson. I mean, I don't know that I've learned anything other than be like more of a bully and like <laughs> force people to do things your way more. <laughs> no, honestly, though, I just as like a human being, being friends with Rachel and like Rachel's kind of like the boss. And I'm kind of like the little soldier. It's been like super difficult for me to not be like, okay, well, I'm in charge. Get out of here. <laughs> like, so I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of myself for not just like taking over and steamrolling Rachel. <laughs> yeah. But you do. I mean, yeah. You do. You do really good. Uh, no, I think we're a good team. I think we complement each other well. And uh yeah, hey, if we want to have Amber Week where Amber does take control, it's fine with me. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't want to uh, ruin your life. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's really good and uh, we have a great time and uh it's a lot of work, but I I'm you know, I never would have thought that the uh, talking about Hallmark movies would be the thing that would take off because I you know, I've been podcasting for a long time and uh uh but I think, again, having a co-host that was equally invested as myself Mm -hmm. has made a huge difference, and it's just been really fun. Even financially invested. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) I just spent a lot of money, by the way. So much. (laughs) Uh, It's been really, really fun, and I I'm just grateful, and uh, I'm looking forward to the this next uh next part of the year so it should be pretty fun yeah but but uh, thanks for giving us a chance to be on uh your channel alisa make sure you're following uh us at the hallmarkies podcast uh, and see what we do uh we have a lot of fun and uh we cover all the all the hallmark tv shows and movies as well and as more just, uh, yeah as well as just other fun stuff that we like so there you go. And if you uh, like Survivor, we are working on some amazing Survivor Hallmark crossover. Yeah. 
it's going to be so much for not our audience and just for us. So right. please feel free to come over and check that out. That's right. So, all right. Well, good. Well, uh, thanks again, uh, Lisa. And um, yeah, there you go.